Spider-Man Far From Home. No spoilers. The second Spider-Man movie here by Marvel was a delight and a very enjoyable movie. Tom Holland delivers yet again another amazing performance as Spider-Man. The film actually struggles a little bit with finding its identity, in terms of struggling with being a high school romance, themes of deception, and the cliche of believing you're good enough. Most of the cast is actually pretty good, but I will say both teachers on Peter's field trip were extremely unfunny and kind of unnecessary. Their jokes did not land and oftentimes their character felt distracting. Zendaya also plays a much bigger role than in Spider-Man Homecoming. Personally, I liked her performance much more in this film rather than the first movie, mostly because she seemed like more of a well-rounded character with emotions rather than this blank love interest for Peter. Ned, Peter's best friend, was also hilarious as usual, and obviously Peter was amazing and extremely believable as a young man struggling with the responsibility of being a hero. Tom Holland really nails the Peter Parker feel in a Spider-Man movie. The last character to touch on here is Jake Gyllenhaal playing Mysterio. Mysterio was a really convincing character. His performance, as expected, is much more than just what you'd expect from the trailer. I actually liked him in this movie much more than I expected, and I think you will too. There are a lot of other characters like Nick Fury, Maria Hill, Aunt May, Happy, and they all do their role and they all perform pretty well, but there's not much to say about these other characters without divulging into spoiler territory, which I will not do. Now as a whole, the plot suffers a little bit from the first act. It does feel like the movie doesn't know what it wants to be sometimes. At times it's a high school rom-com, sometimes it's a plain superhero movie. The second and third act are quite strong and do make up for the very quick pacing from the first part. Visuals in Far From Home are amazing. The CGI of the elementals, the ocean, various scenes caused from Mysterio, they're amazingly well done. The visuals and CGI itself probably increased my scores rating just because I was so surprised at how well made they were. For what it's worth, this movie isn't flawless, but for me, I really did enjoy it. From Peter's struggles to the comedy to the dramatic visuals, I thought it was a great step up from the first movie. Now I didn't think Homecoming was a bad movie, but I do think Far From Home is better than its predecessor. Spider-Man Far From Home is a 9.2 out of 10. P.S. There are two post-credit scenes and both are very necessary to watch.